Today I'm going to platinum Atlas Fallen, a game made by the people that brought us the Surge, which in my opinion is a pretty underrated Souls game. Atlas Fallen isn't a Souls-like, however. It's more of a typical third-person like open-world co-op action game where we mess about in sand. So what do we need to do to get all 37 trophies? Well, let me tell you. So overall, there's nothing too crazy, but we do want to stay away from joining someone else's co-op game because there's a high chance that if you do that, then one of the trophies called Forge Master will glitch out. So we're going to stick solely to uh, single player for this. Luckily, you can do everything in single player. So happy days. So the rundown. So four out of ten difficulty takes about 30 hours. There's no missable trophies and we only need one playthrough. So we're going to take it in three simple steps. Step one, beat the game straightforward. Step two, grab all the collectibles. Step three, anything we might have missed, clean up. So to step one here's all the story trophies i didn't know that the mountain god slayer after finish the game the watcher all right so with the story finished and complete it's now time to take on step two which is the collectibles so first we follow an animal and grab i found it nice another trophy i found it collect a treasure by following an animal bit of a tedious one that you literally you just see animals and the they like glow gold and then you just slowly follow them then we get a backhanded compliment you seem to actually have some talent. Hey, thanks. <laughs> Ooh, the collector. Collect 50 sellable artifacts in total. Salmon blast. Oh, There's scholar. Something in the Collect 30 lore right items. Oh, splitter. We need to get after her. <laughs> the hell, he just took her away. Okay, bye. We grab the final shard. We have all the shards we need to the piece we found. Shard bearer. Collect all upgrade shards. Hell yeah. Let's go. It's been like three hours since I got a trophy, so feels good that one. We take out the final watchtower. Ooh. Clear sight. Clear all watchtowers in the game. Beautiful. Then we take out the final elite wraith. Slayer. Slay all elite wraiths. Next, we destroy the final altar. False god. Destroy all the heavenly shrines. We go craft a piece of armor, which ends up being our final piece. Fine feathers make fine birds. Collect all armors. Good stuff. Grab our 20th vantage point. Ooh. Summiter. Find 20 vantage points. Hell yeah. We then go and grab our final perk. Boom. All there is unlock and fully upgrade all perks get the last cosmetic boom feeling fancy find all cosmetic items so all we need now is the final two i think treasure maps and we're good we then go get the final boom anvil forge master find all anvils i totally forgot i needed this one but yeah we got this one, so now all we need is the final treasure, and we're good. And then that's all collectibles. This is the trophy as well that can glitch out for your co-op partner. So, uh, yeah, we're good. Next, we grab the final treasure. Boom. There we go. All that gold. That's collecting all treasure maps and discovering their treasure. Nice. So, with that, that is step two complete. So now we're going to jump on to step three, which is clean up. I actually grabbed this one during the story is to uh, shatter four enemies in one Ooh, go. We got a trophy. Shatter them all. Shatter four wraiths at the same time. 
And then during that same battle, we get this trophy as well. Ooh, a taste of wrath. Defeat the Watcher's Fury for the first time. Geared up. Unlock the third and final upgrade of an armor. Sweet. Oh, fashion victim. Yep, no, that was a trophy. Die in armor for the first time. This next one kind of popped up out of nowhere. Oh, adventurer. That was a bit random. What's that for? Sand slide for 42.195 kilometers in total. Beautiful. So Bazaar is the vendor that travels around to different so locations. Oh, another trophy. Big Bazaar. Find the traveling vendor in at least six different spots. Good the stuff. Racking off the trophies right now. The next trophy we get is for grabbing some gold. That tributes of Calderias. Collect 10,000 tributes in total. This next one's just for getting the essence stones. It's pretty much unmissable, this one, because there's probably like over a hundred other things. Stone collection on 25 essence stones. So this next one's a side quest. That is what went down in history. The mentor. Find the prisoner and talk to him in the wildlands. Do not disturb the enlightened in the sky. Jesus. How is she carrying that? What an absolute champion she is. Damn, girl. Next, we get a cool uh, camera glitch. What? What is going on? To the camera. The camera's like bugged out. <laughs> what the hell? Alright, well, gonna have to quit. Maybe pause. Oh my god. Yes, I'm fine. How about you, old woman? I'll be okay. Thanks to you. <laughs> How about you, old woman? Is Who that says that? <laughs> oh my days. Like in Next, we upgrade an essence stone. Alchemist. Upgrade an essence stone to rank 7. So this next one is another side quest. I met Valerie again yesterday. Ooh. She Queen's tail. Find the Queen's recorded Resistance memories. They spoke to this next one, we defeat a Colossal without taking any damage. I thought this one would be a little bit difficult, but I just got it naturally. Ooh. Flawless victory. Kill a Colossal Wraith without taking damage. Sweet. Another super easy one, just use your shadow when it's completely full and it gives you another trophy. Essence Blow. Shatter with a full momentum gauge. So we only actually need three more. We need Miner, which is to kill a Scatterer with its own mines. Uh, kill 50 Wraiths with Shattering. So I should be pretty close with that one. And then we've got Stay in the Air for 60 seconds in one go. So... Let's go get those three, and then when we've done that, we should have the trophy and the platinum. Nice. Airborne. Beautiful. So that's for staying in the air for 60 seconds in one go. Next, the game crashes. Luckily, it was the only crash I had in the, the whole Platinum journey, so it wasn't too bad. We then go and grab another combat trophy. There we go. Miner. Kill a Scatterer with its own mines. Beautiful. Yeah, I kind of like slapped the mine back at the, the enemy. You can actually do that. You don't have to. Uh, I thought you needed to just let the bomb explode next to the enemy, but no. You can slap the mine back at the enemy, and it does way more damage. So now we only have one more trophy. Super boring one. So unfortunately, we can't end it on a cool trophy, but kill 50 wraiths by shattering them. Um, I've not really been using the, the shatter ability. That's why I've not really got it yet. But yeah, I'm just going to have to go around, kill a few more enemies, and make sure I shatter them, and the platinum's ours. And then finally, our last trophy before the Platinum. Let's 
Shatterer finally killed 50 wraiths by shattering them and then boom Atlas all in there it is baby unlock all trophies Woo! we got it finally that one took a, a lot longer than I thought it was gonna to get those 50 shatter kills I must have not had very many of them but uh yeah there it is we got it done all right so I'm gonna save the game so we can see how long it took us to achieve you can see there 16 hours and 40 minutes was the last time I saved so I'm gonna save over that and then I think if I pause it tells us there we did 17 hours and 39 minutes it took us to get the platinum so yeah definitely uh not too bad nowhere near 30 hours though which is how long it said it was going to take but yeah there it is all 37 trophies i hope you enjoyed it um it was pretty fun i definitely started enjoying the game more uh the more i played it at the beginning i just wasn't really that keen on it but as i continued playing uh unlocked more like traversal skills and stuff like that i started to enjoy it a lot more the cleanup as well wasn't too hard or too bad because I uh, I did a lot of it uh, as I was going so I feel like if you were missing all the side stuff and then you had to do it all at the end it might be a little bit tedious but until next time though take care happy trophy hunting and I'll catch you on the next one